everyone, welcome to another video. So I wanna talk about the Parents Alliance Employment Project Agency that my guide dog Zeke here, he, him and I uh, went to go out earlier, training and some work together, because I went to film elevators for my elevator YouTube channel, Elevators International, but that's not the point of the video. The, today's video, we're gonna talk about Parents Alliance Employment Project, the disability support agency that helps individuals, young adults with disabilities like myself, find employment opportunities. You guys know that I graduated project, my brother and I graduated Project Search at Northwestern Medicine, Central DuPage Hospital in Winfield, Illinois through the national program model, Project Search. Let's talk about Parents Alliance. So Parents Alliance Employment Project was actually started in the 1970s by a group of parents who had young adults with disabilities around our age. And really back in that day, day and age, there weren't a whole lot of options for the children once they graduated from high school. So a group of parents got together and they formed an alliance and they focused on employment. Hence, what that's where the Parents Alliance Employment Project name comes from. And they really fought for integration and meet for meaningful employment in the communities in that which they live for their children that have, uh, for young adults like myself, that have significant disabilities. The mission of their agency is to devoted to improving the quality of life for people with disabilities through individualized employment services. And they do that from an array of services, providing career counseling, job readiness training, and job placement, and then job coaching services once they receive that job. Like the employment specialist for Project Search at Central DuPage Hospital, Chloe Suter, or if needed, Tracy Coughlin. And also, they've been providing employment services throughout uh, here in DuPage, my home area, DuPage County, for over 30 years, and the greater Chicago area for a very, very long time. Like DuPage, Cook, DeKalb, McHenry, Kane, Kendall, Lake, and Will County, Illinois. Which was, is such a blessing, because now, since Anthony and I, we're in our, well, we're in our second year, to, second to last year of transition to 2021-22 school year with SAS of the School Association for Special Education in DuPage County with all of our blind friends visually from the that we grew up with in the visually impaired program before we did the transition program at the SAS Transi Transition Center in Lyle, Illinois. This is SAS's Facebook page. I'll link it down below too. Parents Alliance is also speaking of is also located in Lyle, Illinois, their office. I'm gonna link down their website so you guys can learn more about the agency. So that's the broad end part of the agency. What I love about the agency is that they have a very, very strong connection with the local high school. Because it's really, really important that parents are aware of services beyond high school because what happens is parents, students with disabilities, we often go through the school system and the school system provides us with the supports. So what Parents Alliance does is, uh, so they're like, okay, what's next? What comes next? So. Like mine and my brother's mom, stepfather, and dad. Oh, and don't forget my guide dog, Zeke. It was a tough transition exiting the school system and gaining a job. What Parents Alliance likes to do is get into the schools early so they can do an overlap and focus on that parent education so that they know about the resources once they graduate from high school or a transition program and that there are wonderful opportunities such as meaningful paid employment. So for Project Search at Central DuPage Hospital, they work with District 94200, WorkNet DuPage, Sasset, as I mentioned before, where Anthony and I are from, and also Department of Rehabilitation Services and WorkNet DuPage. For students in their last year of their educational program, for or vocational program, so where we got provided three 10 week internships where we learned vital, job, meaningful job skills to bring out to the community when we work with Northwestern Medicine. To receive our amazing paid employment jobs. Where Anthony and I are now. The national program model that was actually started at Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center by someone in the a nurse or a doctor, whoever in the emergency department. Specifically, the director. Then she brought it to the special education um, director of a uh, school campus, also to meet those entry level positions of systematic job tasks for inclusion in in the workplace. Back in 1996, since the hospital had children with disabilities. And then they got together and developed Project Search. And now there's over 715 Project Search sites in the USA, Scotland, 
Ireland, and Canada around the world, which is awesome. I'll also link that down below. And now Project Search is not only here in my area, but in 42 U.S. states, England, Scotland, and Ireland, which is pretty cool. And Tracy Coughlin actually got the opportunity to talk with the um, Scottish or uh, Project Search staff because Central DuPage Hospital and Northwestern Medicine's Project Search program is nationally recognized for getting all their interns um, competitive employment after the program is finished for a year, because you know Project Search is a year long. So as a reminder, um, this is my um, Project Search bulletin board that I did, that Ale my, my good friend Elena and I did in Project Search after her, her and I uh, graduated, like, just as past, uh, just uh, around this month, actually, um, we went back to Central DuPage to talk with the students and their parents to see if Project Search would be a great fit for them. And we're also gonna go to their uh, Central DuPage Hospital um, uh, Project Search uh, graduation for the current students that we uh, know of. Because we think it'll be fun, including my brother. Also, Parents Alliance is, uh, we also went to their Be Inspired to Hire event, which is hosted at once a year, um, where my brother's uh, job got recognized for um, providing him with his paid job. Um, and I got to meet his boss, and his boss is really cool. Um, he also got to meet my guide dog as well. At first, we wanted to, uh, during, my, during our job development process, we wanted to get us in there for a specific job. But, but unfortunately, um, it just didn't work out. But he, Stuart, uh, his boss tried very, very hard to make, sh to uh, you know, but it just just didn't work out. So um, I got hired at my local movie theater. He got hired at our one of our local country our country club. If you guys want to read it, um, I'll uh, pause the video now and then I'll read briefly. There we go. So, um, and also it shows my, mine and Zeke's internships with Central DuPage Hospital and where we are now. So, my current employment is Studio Movie Girl in Wheaton, Illinois. How did you get the job? I did open interviews with, pro with SMG and through the job development process in Project Surge at Northwestern Medicine Central DuPage Hospital. Job responsibilities. Sorting and wrapping silverware for the kitchen, ticket hosts, checking everyone's tickets and directing them to their theaters, which is actually how I started at Studio, at, uh, Studio Movie Grill. And then I eventually got promoted to doing the silverware and doing certain things in the kitchen. Plus also my boss is a very huge dog person, which is awesome, the general manager of my work. Putting stickers on straws to identify various drinks for the food and drink runners and adding condiment cups for, for baking paper for the food trays for the kitchen too, for also one of my managers. My internships the, slash departments that I worked in, outpatient infusion and procedure center, pain management clinic, supply chain and mission supply. You all, guys all know in supply chain, my guide dog and I really, when we got, uh, we got really got stood out there and that how much I really liked that internship. It was so detail oriented. You all know I love detail oriented tasks and I would love to go back to work at a, my, what, my lo, one of my local hospitals one day. <clears throat> Or even like working in like a, like how I did with OPIC pain management clinic at Central DuPage, where I could talk with the boss, and um, we could um, I could I, I love patients I, I I I like talking to, briefly talking to patients and helping others, that we can like make a uh, petting time, for the nurses because the nurses really wanted to pet Zeke and that did get me in trouble with uh, certain time management stuff but, yeah like. Because that, that, those type of settings are my heart. Because it comes from my mother. We both love that type of line of work. And also it goes back to her, her, her mother or my grandmother, who is actually Greek. Um, my mom is 100% Greek, I'm 50% Greek. But uh, sorry if I go on a little bit of a tangent. I love to talk a lot. But, um, but yeah, that's essentially how Project Search 
really know how Parents Alliance Employment Project got their feet off the ground in supporting the greater Chicagoland slash Illinois area here in the United States for my brother and I specifically, which is a very, very big blessing that we have job co that we have job services throughout our entire lives so we can um because they have to be of working age, of course, and they'll work with anybody that has any type of disability. It doesn't matter what it is, but really more importantly, that they have the desire to work and the motivation to want to go to work. That is very, very important because uh, that was, uh, that's, what, that's why Anthony and I were successful leaving Sasset because we wanted to just work. So, yeah, anyways. I hope you all enjoyed this video today. I hope you found it inspiring in a way, uh, found it helpful. I know Tracy, Chloe, and Jason over at Project Search Central DuPage Hospital will really appreciate this and love it. And also the executive director, Kristen Sheffield, and, and, progr and program manager, Christina Lasosa. There's also a video that I'll link, link down to the Naperville Community Television of how Parents Alliance exactly how it started. So that way you all can get your own insights on how it started. So yeah, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video today. Comment, like, and subscribe, and that'll be it. See you on the next video. Bye. Love you, Z.